Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video. This is a removal of a German yellow jacket's nest from inside of a customer's house, plus my chickens and the squirrel. Here's the video, check it out. Oh yeah, there's mating going on here. Oh yeah. And you weren't invited, were you? No, I wasn't. Here's the nest. Yeah. They're all in the insulation. I'm, wow. I'm not sure which. Woo, it stinks. Huh. It smells like it smells like animal pee. Uh. Which I don't know, this particular species seems to smell that way. I don't know why it does. Yeah. See all this? So there's, I don't think it's on this side, I think it's up here. Okay. There's this little piece of uh, aluminum trim, uh -huh. it just needs to be pulled down first and then okay. it can slide out and come down. Uh -huh. So this can be bent back in place, it just might not be quite as flush yeah. once we're There's a lot of envelope up here. Wow. Yeah, I think it's right in here. This okay. this is all envelope here. Up oh, there it is. There's the nest. Okay. Let's get that on video. Yeah. <laughs> we got the camera here, we might as well use it. Okay. All right, so here's the nest. This is German yellow jacket. And this is an end of season nest for sure. There's some activity in it, but it's definitely slowing down. Mm. 
show the homeowners. That was mashed up into the corner. Look at the intricate design. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yes. All those little channels and chasms in there. Yeah. That's how they crawl through. And... Yeah. Oh, here, I'll leave it here for you. It's an art. Yeah, it really is. I'm glad somebody else appreciates it. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yep. A lot of the larvae are pretty much gone out of this colony. Yeah, well there might be still some in here. Yeah, there's some pretty heavy nesting up here. This is where they were consolidated. There's probably still some larvae back in there. They're spraying venom on my face. I can smell it. It's a mar pheromone marker, so the other ones know to where to, tra to attack. This time of year is pretty confusing enough for them, just because it's, since it is the end of season, they're running out of food, and so with me doing this, it becomes even more confusing. Like, <laughs> what's happened to our home? I'm trying to see if I can see the actual queen. I mean, I see a lot of queens, but. all this activity out here. Got to make sure I get vacuum shots because I didn't do the vacuum in the shots at Barb's house because I thought it'd be more interesting to hear the noises of the nest but people complained they didn't see me vacuuming. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. Alright, so I'm going to vacuum out as many of these as I can now and then I'll pull the nest down so you guys can see that. But you can see they're not super aggressive. They're swarming, but they're not swarming me. They're not really attacking me directly. Which I'm the culprit. You think, I mean, this particular species doesn't latch on. They just kind of swarm around and dive bomb and act like ball species. Yeah, I know.
Yeah, there's really a way I can get that get that down without damaging some of it. Gorgeous nest. Put this down here for now. There's still still some comb up here yet too. Look how much of this insulation they've chewed out. Yeah. Look at that. They chew it and then they, wow. they fly off with it and Yeah. Damage your insulation, but I didn't have bees to be that. Yeah, yeah, well, they, that's what actually I'm going to show you when I show you that video. Don't remind me to show it to you. They chewed the end of this beam, this one and this yeah. one, oh. and they chewed it in. I was telling you about how they could chew yeah. in the half of the board. Yeah. They did that here. They didn't chew half of it, they just chewed the edge of it. So they could, right. Yeah. Wow. This one to go right underneath. <laughs> Just try to make everything look like it. I never was here. Yeah, yeah. It can be. <laughs> well, don't look too close. <laughs> Just gotta try to snug everything up again. In construction for eight years. Oh, wow. So yeah. carpentry and mainly stonemasonry, but okay. repaired so a lot of stuff. And that. so yeah, I snapped together a few soffit or two. Thank you for asking. Not a lot of people do.
new queen here. I do not have my suit on, so I'm going to be as delicate as possible here, without getting stung. This is a new queen. It's not the queen, it's a new queen. So I'll put her in the barn, see if she'll winter over. Oh, she's actually got chewed wings. Look at the tips of her wings. They're actually chewed off. So that could have been done by another queen or a worker. But she's not going to be able to fly. She's actually going to be a lost cause, unfortunately. That will still let her go. That's a bummer. So these here, all these up here, those are all worker cells, and these are queen cells. All these are queen cells. So males and new queens or reproductives would be in these cells, and sterile females would be in this one. So as you can see, these cells have eggs and some larvae in them, but they're in cells that have already been hatched from adults. Let's see if we can get a good view of some eggs. So all these little tiny white specks in here, not the larvae, but the white specks, those are new eggs. So they would have turned into adult wasps but they're in cells that have already been hatched out of so you can see how these there's the old silk and these little tiny like tethers there's like fringes those are from silk caps being chewed off and there's new larvae growing in them so there's been documents of wasp species do not reuse the same cells twice which i call foul because I'm seeing it in a lot of mess. Even bald-faced hornets do it. So don't read, don't believe everything you read in a research paper from some university. They're just people. And when they speak in absolutes, that should be the first sign that maybe something's amiss. Even the even the already used queen cells have eggs laid in them. So everybody starts laying eggs, not just the queen. Workers will start laying eggs, which are um, unfertilized eggs, which will become males. And the queen will continue to lay eggs as well. This is a worker. It's not a queen. So there's still some larvae in here. I am not going to give this nest to the chickens to peck out. I'm going to tweeze this nest because... I want to keep a lot of it intact because I'm going to try to cast some of it, some of it in aluminum and some of it in epoxy. So you guys will be seeing some uh, some chicken action in this video, but it won't be the chicken action from this particular nest. That is a wild and cool nest.
That's good amber. All right, so just wanted to give you guys a couple, uh, couple little fun shots here of the squirrely squirrel and the chickens. Um, squirrely squirrels here eating larva. Uh, Humphrey still loves larva, um, and he is uh, he's not much of a domesticated pet squirrel. He's a uh, he's pretty wild. Um, he he recognizes me. He comes up to me, but uh, he has the whole unfinished music room to himself. And I don't go over there and handle him every day. Um, I mean, I go over to him every day and feed him, but um, and he jumps on me like a tree and runs around me a bit. But uh, he doesn't. He's pretty skittish about me, like going to touch him and stuff with my hands. He knows my face as being me, but he clearly um, isn't a big fan of my hands. I think he thinks they're a different part or a different creature altogether. Because he, he'll, he'll sit right next to my head and won't have a problem with my head moving. But when I bring my hand up to pet him or something, he gets really skittish. And uh, he, you know, he really has to warm up to my hands. Um, but yeah, so I got some really funny shots of him here. Um, for those of you who watched to the end of the video, um, you won't be disappointed. There's a couple of really good shots I'm excited for you guys to see. Please don't skip ahead. LOL. Um, so... I find myself saying LOL more than actually laughing out loud. Good figure. Um, so I'm just going to shut up with the voiceovers for this point and uh, let you guys enjoy the uh, the slow motion shots I have coming up here with, with uh, the squirrel and the chickens. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this yellow jacket nest removal from inside somebody's house. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos or things you'd like to see me cover in my videos, drop in the comments also, let me know. 
If you guys are returning subscribers, thanks so much for tuning in to check out my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, so that way you guys can get updated on any videos I do put out in the future. Thanks so much for tuning in to check out these videos and I'll catch you guys on the next one.